At my Subway, you would spend your entire five to six hour work shift with only one other person. And you didn't get to pick that peculiar partner you were spending your precious period with. So that meant I was stuck with some crazy characters. And one of those characters was really, really into that new age snorting healing crystals kind of stuff. And he would specifically talk to me about it because I was the only other person there and all we could do for fun was watching bread rise. Since I was contractually obligated to stay, I would just listen to him ramble about how he thought the universe worked. He told me about chakras and how easy it was to open your third eye through LSD. He told me about scrying using black mirrors and that it's a common misconception that you can get stuck in the mirror, but that's just a myth that doesn't actually happen. Which is a good thing because getting stuck in a mirror is something I'm constantly worried about as an adult. Oh, and he told me that every illness is in your head and that hospitals can already cure anything, but they're not going to because if they cure you, they're going to lose a customer. So he's just going to stick to his essential oils and non-vaccinated immune system, thank you very much. Listen, you can believe whatever you want to believe, as long as it's not hurting yourself or others, okay? But denying modern medicine? No! No! No, you, you can't! Do that! No! Since there were still four hours of the workday left and I didn't want to argue with him, I would just respond with, uh huh. He didn't do crack or meth or any hard drugs that I know of that would alter his perception of reality. Even though he didn't trust hospitals or doctors, he really believed in the benefits of medical marijuana. If you're ever wondering what kind of person is making your sandwiches, yes, they did give this guy a license to touch your food. Whoa, dude. My sandwich tastes like colors. I learned something about myself that day, and that is, I'm obsessed with crazy people. Even though I didn't believe a word he said, I would still ask him questions just to get him talking. Wait, so you're telling me that everything in Naruto is real? Something about talking to him and hearing his perspective was fascinating. This human that I share a planet with? exists. What is a crazy person? A crazy person is not someone who has a weird hobby or owns a pet snake. A crazy person is someone who, despite having an astronomical amount of evidence pointing to one idea, believes in the latter. I'm not a psychologist, and maybe I should have consulted one before making this video, but I think crazy people have an unhealthy amount of unchecked distrust and paranoia. I don't know where to even begin talking to crazy people. Their worldview is just so much different than mine. A crazy person will think that someone who has no reason to is lying. NASA's lying about the moon landing. I don't trust NASA. Hospitals are lying about medicine. I don't trust doctors. The government's lying about... Well, a lot of things. They're lizard people! Okay, that one might be true. Thankfully, I don't personally know any crazy people. Well, okay, some of my friends are into astrology, but they still get vaccinated, so... You know, you win some, you lose some. However, on the internet, there's an overwhelming abundance of crazy people. I'm guessing crazy people don't go outside because they think the government will target them with directed energy weapons or something. Yeah, only crazy people stay inside wasting hours of their life behind computer screens. <laughs> One of my guilty pleasures is that while I'm working, I will listen to crazy people talk for hours. It's weirdly my version of ASMR. I've tried listening to podcasts and audiobooks or anything that's good for my brain, but there's something so fascinating about listening to a 50-year-old genuinely tell you about his alien abduction. And it only has 300 views? This man was contacted by aliens, people! Why isn't he on the cover of Time Magazine? YouTube will teach you everything you need to know about aliens. Did you know that aliens traveled millions of light years to build pyramids, stomp on our corn, and abduct a couple of crackpots? There's videos of people who will tell you in full confidence about the gray and praying mantis aliens living among us. I mean, the videos barely have any views, but they exist. Most of the views are from me. Okay, all of them. I don't understand how people think the moon landing was faked. There is so much evidence proving that the moon isn't even real. Wake up, sheeple! I gotta be honest, I don't think flat earthers are real. I think they're all just a bunch of trolls trying to get people like me to hate humanity. I'm no rocket scientist, but I know that our understanding of space and gravity is so beyond what shape the earth is. I'm amazed how much free information is available to people, but they still choose not to believe it. So I'm sorry, I just can't accept that flat earthers are real. I mean, I have nothing to back up this idea though, I guess it's just a crazy theory of mine. Wait.
Here's a lighthearted conspiracy for you. Some people think that the creators of the Sonic movie purposely made the design of Sonic bad in the first trailers as a marketing ploy. Everyone was outraged about the bad designs and ended up talking about it, giving the movie free promotion. Meanwhile, the executives were planning to use the better designed Sonic all along. The evidence for this is... Well, I'm talking about the Sonic movie right now, so I'm contributing to the theory that this was all for publicity. Another piece of evidence is... Look at this. What is this? There's no way that any executive or anyone with two eyeballs would okay this ever. And honestly, I might have believed this conspiracy theory if this movie didn't exist. If it wasn't for the Cats movie, I would have thought Hollywood knew what they were doing too. But because it's current year and these types of things can still get past test screenings, I think sometimes Hollywood is just no good. I could be totally wrong though. If anyone watching worked on this movie and wants to be a whistleblower, let me know in the comments. Another rabbit hole I fell down was discovering a group of people called targeted individuals. Targeted individuals are a group of people that think the government is sending NSA agents to harass them. And this isn't just the American government, it turns out that every government in the world is harassing random citizens. They claim that they're being harassed because the government is trying to silence them for speaking the truth, when in reality they're not speaking anything remotely true. A targeted individual will say things like, People keep following me! There's a white van that's been parked in front of my house for hours! The government's been using electromagnetic radiation to transmit sounds and thoughts into my head! And the whole time I'm watching these people, I'm thinking, Yo, that sounds like schizophrenia, my dude. I don't know your life. Maybe you just got out of a really bad cult and you do have stalkers following you. Okay, yes, that happens. But it's not the government. One targeted individual I saw said that the government attacked them with a directed energy weapon and that they've been having migraines and coughing up blood. And I'm just flabbersmacked that someone actually believes this. How do you tell them, yo, the government's not harassing you. You probably have something going on in your digestive system. You need to see a doctor and a psychiatrist. And it's easy to point and laugh and make fun of these people, but after hearing their stories, I just feel bad for them. They are going through some major mental stuff, and I think they just need a friend to talk to. Most conspiracies can be disproven with a little bit of research, so it's important to think critically and not immediately believe everything you hear online. And if there's not enough data to make a judgment, then it's okay to say, I don't know, or I need to look into this further before making a conclusion. Viral misinformation punishes everybody, so it's important to do research, tests, and evaluations to form a concrete judgment before you hit that retweet button. There is one conspiracy theory, I believe, and that is that Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill 